Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In our last video, we had created our Tinkercad account. In this video, we will understand how to implement basic logic and gate using Tinkercad. Let's begin. Click on create new circuit in the circuit section in the navigation bar on the left. Let us understand how to read the datasheet of the end gate. I have already downloaded a datasheet of the quad input and gate DM7408 from Fairchild Semiconductor. The first page provides general information regarding the product packaging, ordering code for purchasing the product, connection diagram, and function table that indicates the truth table of the end gate. The second page which is important for designers or developers, provides detail electrical operating ratings and characteristics of the product. Maximum ratings are the values beyond which the safety of the device cannot be guaranteed. Hence, you need to see that your input voltage or current to the device do not exceed these values. A designer or developer must follow the ratings given in the recommended operating conditions. For example, to apply logic 1 or high level, the minimum input voltage required is 2 volts. Any signal with voltage magnitude below 2 volts will not be considered as a high level or logic 1 signal and will not provide the required output. Components required are, a breadboard, a power supply, an N-gate IC74HC08, a dual inline package SPST, single pole single throw, X4 switch, two LEDs, light emitting diodes, and two resistors of 150 ohms each. Now that we know the pin configuration and electrical characteristics of the end gate, let us now wire the connections as shown here. A power supply provides regulated 5 volts supply for the operation of the end gate. The availability of 5 volts supply at the input pin of end gate indicates that logic 1 is being applied while, a 0 volts supply indicates logic 0 is being applied. A dip SPST X4 switch is used to apply either logic 1 or 0 to the end gate. The output of the end gate is connected to the LED which displays the resultant operation of the gate. The output of the end gate goes high when both the inputs are high. When neither of the input goes low, the output of end gate also goes low. This validates the operation of the end gate. That's it you have successfully implemented basic end gate using Tinkercad. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates.